express yourself and move in star wall cruising in this all new 2020 toyota rav4 with its styled aluminium wheels panoramic roof and led headlights whether it's with manual automatic transmission rav4 it is powered by what you call a hybrid 2.5 liter four cylinder petrol engine which is assisted by two electric motors on either sides to give a combined output of 219 horsepower as well as 163 pound feet of torque with an estimated acceleration of 0 to 6 miles per hour in just 7.5 seconds giving it agility in the city and power on off-road in fact this rav 4 it has what you call an estimated fuel efficiency of 41 miles per gallon in the city and 37 miles per gallon on the highway and another thing is that on this rav 4 the reason as to why on this toyota logo you have this blue thing here this blue painting in here it's because that blue paint represents the hybrid version of the rav4 and you also get what you call a front camera and this rav4 features what you call as a unique sports bus split grille as you can see that in that you have this upper grille and this lower one with sensors around the vehicle giving it what you call a 360 degree surrounding view wow that is so nice and you also have this nice shock absorbing bumper underneath so close this up close it up and as we move on to the sides you do see this uh 19 inch styled aluminium walls and there is what you call an upgraded system of the four times four of this rav4 remember this is uh, this is a 4x4 suv the off-roading and one wheel of this rav4 loses traction from the ground the all new upgraded 4x4 system of this rav4 automatically detects a spinning wheel that has lost traction on the ground and it breaks it and automatically sends power to the other wheels with traction to get you moving throughout the terrain you can also notice your body colored side mirror side mirrors with what you call a sensor underneath and this has what you call a camera underneath and you also have this hybrid with a blue, blue strip here and this is what you call a hybrid it's not a plug-in hybrid but it's just a hybrid the difference between a hybrid and a plug-in hybrid is that a hybrid works on the power which is produced by the engine the power which is produced by the engine it's the one which recharges the batteries but a plug-in hybrid you just need to plug in you connect to a normal you connect to electricity at home to a normal socket to a normal socket and then you just plug it in as we continue on to the side you can notice that this is actually the fifth generation of the shrub for you also have this black size cut as well as you get the same on this tire and this the no reason as to why you have this plastic is that when you are cruising in mud or snow this plastic won't wear like in normal cars you also have this black pan which is actually a new design as well as your roof ray your roof rays in position and at the rear you have what you call a power tailgate in that you just need to press a button like this and it does the rest of the work for you and inside here you get what you call a ton of storage space you have all this and you also get this comes in in that even if you pour liquid on this it's not going to damage this it's not going to wet the floor because this is all this is rubber you have this rubber system in here you also have this storage space as well as what you call a 12 volt charging point you also have your load cover in place and this car comes in with what we call a surrounding system of jbl speakers just like in the gr sport and these seats you automatically you just to fold them you do it manually like this and you have a ton of room to store your things and another thing is that since this is a hybrid there it has what you call batteries and the batteries most of the most of the hybrid cars the batteries are just placed the batteries are placed underneath the trunk they are always below here but in this rough for that the they have positioned the batteries they are just below the rear seats so on the rear seats so the, the passengers in the rear seats sit on the batteries in that the, the reason asked why they made it like that is that they don't want you they don't want those batteries to take up the storage space which you could have such here that you get this whole space close it up like this let's continue on to the driver's side and check out what it is all about this car has what you call a keyless entry in that when you have your key for example if this is your key fog and you really don't want to pull it out of the pocket and you want it to stay in for example you are you are handle, you have many stuff you are carrying something in your palms you don't need to remove it you just need to press your hand like this then it unlocks itself and again it has what you call and again to lock it it's very easy just need to press this like this 
then it locks itself so let us continue in to the inside and see what it's all about this is your interior of this all new 2020 rav4 and inside here you have leather stitches everywhere everywhere falls nice it's actually luxury it's something which is expensive you have leather stitches everywhere and also this rav4 has you can notice on this dashboard that you have what you call blue stitches which run all the way from the passenger side to the driver side and these blue stitches represent the ev mode represent the hybrid version of this rav4 and on this you also have this storage space here also under up, up above the glove box you have a little bit of storage space and this has what you call some rubber stitches in that even if you place your phone it's not going to it's not going to be moving or moving around when you're off-roading and to open this you have your glove box in place and this was wow, wow this has what you call a nice cabin you have your infotainment system strategically infotainment system and it has what you call a 360 degree surrounding view of the vehicle you can get that 360 degrees surrounding view you can see that thing it's that when you call someone or someone when you call you inside the car and you have connected your phone to the infotainment system you can say that you have here this call button in that when someone calls you you just need to press this if you press that you that that automatically answers your phone and that person you're going to, you're going to drive as you are talking to that person that you're going to hear him or her through the speakers surrounding the vehicle and you also have these are your climate controls well this climate control del it's nice in that you have these rubber stitches in that it's very easy to configure to increase the fan speed and also set it and this has what you call it supports this one which helps you to cool your seats and then hit them you also have this traction control system just need to press it and it gives you traction to the ground turn off the ac you also have this car has what you call wireless car charging which come in wireless car charging uh, which is here as well as a 12 volts charging point under here as this car has something like four four modes you have what you call the eco mode the sports mode the normal and the ev mode the ev mode helps you to run on the batteries and you also have this eco mode which saves fuel when you're when you are not in the hybrid when you are not in the ev mode and if you're cruising in the city and you have what you call a full tank you can just turn it to ev mode then you drive on the batteries and you also have what you call your normal two cup holders in place with what you call this coffee brown detail on it and you get that coffee brown detail also here also have this is actually a storage space here with what you call two usb charging points in here close it up so on the driver's steering wheel this is actually a multifunctional steering wheel and this car has what you call an active cruise control you have what you call blind spot assist you have even what you call lane assist in that when you are driving at high speeds it can keep you within that lane on the highway so that you can be able to stretch your hands and you leave the steering wheel for a bit it can cruise you for around like a half a meter when it's just keeping you within the lane and this steering wheel has what you call a rich adjustment that for this to turn into the that comfortable driving position as you want it that is so nice put it back and this helps me to get what you call a 360 degree surrounding view of the vehicle and i get these blue stitches here that represents the hybrid version i also have a little bit of storage space in here with what you call a blue lighting underneath and this helps me to open the tailgate that i just need to press this and the tailgate opens and on the seat also these seats have what you call many adjustments in that i can literally choose to push it forward if i'm sure uh, it works on the electric part of the key vehicle and the accessories turn this on like this then i can be able to adjust my seat wow you see how i'm adjusting me even if i'm short even if i'm very very short wow look at the how much it can extend wow but this is actually for a very 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 short person but if you are a tall person you just need to extend it for backwards like this And I can also literally choose, this helps me to control this reclining part, the backrest. I can literally choose to recline it or pull it. Pull it. And this helps me to, for example, remember, sometimes you are, when you are driving for a long distance, you get this back, back, you get this, like the back tends to pain you, you, get to get, you tend to get some pain at the back just because you may drive like this. But this has got you covered in that when you press this, this backrest, 
it's going to get a little bit comfy for the seats in that it's going to give you that reclining but for example when you've reclined you're not going to get this back pain in that this helps you to not get that back pain that is so nice uh turn it off so let us continue in to the back seats and see what it's all about and also have this side door this door handle we want to call a chrome detailing and also another feature of this truck for it's that when you are cruising in, when you are off-roading and there is mud and the car turns out to get dirty these these side doors these side doors open up to this end open up to this end in that when i open it they even cover this part in that i'm not going to get my clothes dirty wow that is so nice i also have this normal configuration of the door and these doors the way they open uh, just enough to get you going inside come on i want people to see this you see these these are actually vents that hope to cool down the battery remember i told you as i told you before that the batteries of this car they are actually underneath these seats wow that is so nice and again in the rear seat i have these perfect sitting positions in that they are very very comfy and this is full of leather stitches i have what you call plenty of leg room and head room and i can literally extend my feet underneath the passenger side i have two usb charging points for the rear two passengers and i also have these vents to cool down the rear seats and this car can be turned into what you call a four seater configuration from a five seater wow look at it it's nice these are your normal two cup holders at the rear i also have what you call a car seat option and also as i told you before that the batteries are just underneath the seats and this floor it's actually raised a bit in that for the fifth person yes it's very okay for the fifth person and this is actually very 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 soft and this fifth person the advantages of being a fifth person is that you are in the line of display of the infotainment system in that for example if you're watching a movie on your journey you're going to enjoy that movie more than these guys who are sitting on these sides also have your panoramic roof and you have this roof sun line and to open the sun line uh turn it on uh turn on the accessories and just need to do like this and i have this sun line that that illuminates the cabin with what you call natural light and i also have these nice headrests which look more spotty wow that is so nice close it up just need to press a button just one press then everything is done for you this is this you see these these are actually vents this is actually vents that let in air to the batteries the batteries are just remember this is a hybrid and the batteries they were placed underneath these seats in that they don't consume the storage space in the trunk so they're just underneath the, these seats and these are vents that cool down them and also it's like the added the, the other advantage of this car is that when you are off-roading and the car gets dirty this door closes up to the whole of this end in that your your clothes are not going to be dirty for example sometimes you may move out of this car and then like you you tend to place your leg here though so it's going to get dirty but thanks to this new design of this trough for in that when i close this up when i close this up this closes up to the whole of this end and this trough for comes out in what you call six different trims first of all we have what you call the le which is the with the twitter rough for le which is the standard model there is also what you call the RAV4, the Toyota RAV4 XLE model. There is also another model which is called the Toyota RAV4 XLE Premium, the RAV4 TRD Off-Roading. And then the last of all, there is also what you call the RAV4 Adventure. And guys, thanks for watching. You've been watching Driven Next Door and my name is Elias. And if you if you are there and you enjoy the videos and you are interested in any of our rides or when you want any car to be reviewed on, if you want your car just place it in the comments the car which you want us to review and we'll find that car for you and we'll review it and again if you are interested in this car just place it in the comments below and we'll find it for you thanks for watching bye bye i'll catch you in the next one